It's so great that the weather is nice enough to actually record these videos outside. So here I am on my terrace. Um, so what can we talk about today? I think it's really um, important to think about the obvious small things that you probably automatically put on your resume, but you really shouldn't. Um, so number one is street address. I don't see it that often, but a client sent me a resume just yesterday that had her street address on it. Why is that a bad idea? Well, for one, nobody's writing you a letter, <laughs> okay? And secondly, it's a little unsafe nowadays. I mean, maybe it sounds paranoid, but if you're a single woman, as this client was, um, living by herself, not a great idea to have your street physical street address out there. But here's what ought to be on your resume and frequently isn't. You should, first of all, customize the URL to your LinkedIn profile. And by customize, I mean getting rid of those random numbers and letters that um, LinkedIn um, randomly assigns to your profile. So you want to customize it, delete those random letters and numbers. You can, if you have a fairly common name, you might want to include your middle initial. It doesn't hurt to include um, something about your profession. I have a client who um, is an accountant and he had his name with CPA after it as his customized URL. So customize your URL first and then I want you to embed the link into the resume. Way more important than your street address. What else does it matter on your resume? I can't believe I saw this, but another client sent me a resume with an objective in it. So why is having your objective so bad? Well, it shows that you're not thinking about your resume the right way. You know, if you've listened to my videos before, you know that a resume is a marketing document, right? It's not a history of everything you've done. So since you're marketing yourself, to your target employer, it's not your objective that matters. I mean, it matters to you, but it doesn't matter yet to the employer. What matters to you is responding to the employer's objective. And what is that objective? Their objective is simple. They want to find the best possible candidate for the position they have open. So what you want to do is always have that in mind. So starting off or even including your objective, which by the way, as an HR professional, they all read exactly the same. They, and they're complete BS. That's just the way it is. What else can you leave off the resume? I see so many um, resumes that put the town and the state of their employer on the line, you know, with the employer's name. And my response to that is, what difference does it make? I mean, this resume is about you. What do, what decision am I gonna make as an HR professional or, or a recruiter that is affected by what city and state um, the employer was located in? Now, that's not to say that in many cases, it's not very relevant that you want um, an employer to know that you worked in different cities or maybe even different countries, but you incorporate that important piece of knowledge if it's important. You, you put that nar in the narrative or in the bullets. You weave that detail in. But just to take up space on the resume by saying, I work for um, XYZ Electronics in Peoria, uh, Illinois, I think it's in Illinois, or place like that but um, th that's just adds absolutely nothing um, also I see people who put multiple phone numbers and in one really egregious case their fax number you know hello 1988 here's my fax number um, you only want to include your mobile number because you've always got your phone with you, right? And nobody is calling and leaving a message on your answering machine. By that time, they've moved on to somebody else. So those are three things right away. You can def, oh wait, I just thought of a fourth. Don't have references available upon request. What a waste of real estate and naivete um, 
it, it's crazy. Uh, are you not? Are you going to refuse to provide a reference if you're asked for one? No, you're not. So why say it? Okay. Let me know what you think. Thank you for watching my video. If you want to learn more about resume writing and how it can help jumpstart your job search, head over to my website, risingstarresumes.net. And you can always reach out to me on LinkedIn. I'd love to hear from you. And while you're at it, watch some more of my videos to learn about interview tips and what should and should not be on your resume.